There can be all sorts of difficulties with wiring up your redstone contraptions. Maybe you gotta tunnel through an area, or maybe you have to build a platform to support the redstone and do all sorts of other crazy things just to turn on a light. I mean, it doesn't have to be just the light, it can be any of your contraptions. There can be all sorts of obstacles in your way to make wiring up your redstone more difficult than it really needs to be. So what's better, this or maybe this? Yep, I'd say that's the way to go. Wireless redstone with the redstone link from the create mod. The single greatest addition from the create mod is arguably the redstone link. It allows you to send a redstone signal wirelessly up to 256 blocks away and it doesn't even require line of sight. So let's take a look at how it works and try to instill an understanding of its mechanics so that you can easily use it to simplify all of your redstone needs. First off, crafting it. It's really simple. All you need is one brass casing and one redstone torch, which gets you two redstone links. It isn't shapeless though. You gotta make sure it's in the right order. And as you can see here, it can be placed on any side of a block. Now let's take a really quick look at the redstone link itself. First of all, it's got these two red boxes here. That's frequency one and frequency two. You have to put something in these boxes to designate a frequency. As you can see here, this is the water bucket frequency. Now if you look over here at this link, the antenna has a little bit of a dish around it, and that's important. That means this one is a receiver and that one's a sender. So when this one gets a signal, it'll send it over to this one. And it knows to send it to this one because as you can see, it is also the water bucket frequency. Now, if I were to say power it, it powers the light there. The power doesn't go through the link itself though to power the light beyond, even though it kind of looks like it may be because that little bit right there turns red like it's giving off power. So when you put down a redstone link, by default, it's in a signal mode. It's sending out a signal. If you want to change it to receiving mode, you can either shift right click it with an open hand or right click it with a wrench. Either works just fine. And remember, the frequencies do need to match. If you change the frequency of one, the others won't work unless you update them. A redstone link will send the same signal strength to any of its receivers as it's receiving. So right here we have this lectern giving off a very small signal strength. And you can see here it's able to power four lamps before it loses its charge. This redstone link is getting a weaker signal because it's further away from the source. And if we take a look over here, you can see this one's receiving the signal. It's only able to power two lamps because the signal's shorter by the time it reaches this receiver. Unlike most redstone equipment, water will not break it. However, you can see here it's not water loggable, so you will have some air gaps if you do this. You're able to power as many sources as you want with just one transmitter, which is really nice. If I power this link, all the lights come on. Really handy, especially for setting up lighting in your house. Inversely, you can have as many transmitters as you want going to the same receiver. You can power it however you want, and they will all work. This little remote control here is one of my favorite contraptions. It's called a linked controller and with it, we're able to set off any redstone link that we program it to set off. This is how it's made. It's made with any six buttons. It can be all the same, they can be different. And you put a redstone link in the middle. An important note, they do have to be wood buttons. If you try to use a stone button in there, it's not gonna work. With this linked controller, I'm able to go up to any transmitter or receiver, right click them, and assign their functions to any of those six buttons. In this case here, we could click on this transmitter, assign it to a button, and now we're able to turn on and off our lights by just using our remote control. It's like a smartphone for Minecraft. It can also be used as a remote to get into your house. If I press the button for that door, the door opens for two seconds and then shuts again, giving us plenty of time to run through and not have to worry about closing the door behind us. And if you're wondering how I did this, well, let's take a look. We have a redstone link that's receiving the signal from my controller. There's not even a transmitter that sends to this. It's just the controller link to it. And when this receives power, it sends it into this pulse extender, which sends out a pulse for two seconds because that's what I set it to. And as you can see, while those two seconds are active, the door is open. These link controllers really take things to the next level. They can even do something like this. Boop. Yep, I just teleported in an instant with my link controller into this strange location. And I did it all just using the create mod. I even made a tutorial on how it's done right there. So check it out if you want to learn how to do that. I hope you found this tutorial useful and now you know everything you need to know to use redstone links wherever you want to use them. But as for now, later everybody!